Biafra Buhari government told immediately to comply with UN recommendation on Namdekano's release. Hello, great viewers. Welcome to my channel. The Southeast Revival Group, SERUG, has urged the federal government of Nigeria to immediately comply with the resolution of the United Nations UN Human Rights Council Working Group on arbitrary detention on the detained leader of indigenous people of Biafra Ipo, Mazen Namde Kano, to avert a fresh war front amid the current insecurity in most parts of the country. The UN recently indicted both the Nigerian and Kenyan government for the extraordinary detention, torture, and continued detention of Kano without due process. Consequently, the UN agreed and recommended to the federal government immediately release Kano unconditionally. However, in a statement signed by the President and National Coordinator of the SERUG, Chief Willie Ezu, at the weekend, the group called on the government to be responsible and reasonable in handling the recommendation of the UN as part of the bitter peace Nigeria must take to reduce armed struggle in the country. The statement read in part for the United Nations to ask the federal government to pay adequate compensation for the arbitrary violation of the fundamental human rights of Namde Kano. It then became clear that the world body has found grave infraction in the process of rendition and detention of the IPOB leader. The President Muhammad Buhari administration must be proactive enough to immediately free Mazen Namde Kano and open a channel for addressing the root cause of the renewed Biafran agitation in the Southeast in the general interest of peace, security and national integration. The federal government must learn lessons from the unfortunate but avoidable insurgency in the northeast, which has spread to the other part of the country and escalated as a result of the arbitrary killing of the Boko Haram founder, Mohammed Yusuf. We therefore call on President Muhammad Buhari to immediately order the unconditional list of Mazen Namde Kano and open a channel for dialogue with our grieved citizens, not only in the southeast but across the country, in order to find lasting peace in the country. This has become expedient as the Nigerian security forces will eventually be overwhelmed if avoidable war front are open in all parts of the country, which will be inimical to national peace and development. My analysis. Well, it is in their own interest to do the needful. For so long, we have kept quiet, asking the United Nations, the EU, the Amnesty International, the work was to do the needful because our brother and our leader, Mazen Namde Khan, didn't commit any crime against the Nigerian government or any other person. That our people were being killed and we ran to the so-called presidency of APC, rather of them helping or giving us helping hand, what they did was to tell us to embrace those that they claimed that we are coming from Libya. Those that has a K-47 that came to our land, they kill us, rape our mothers, our sisters. Even to this extent, they are raping men, homosexuals from the highest level. And you expect us to embrace such people in our own land. This was just why Mazen Nandekano, with the help of the Igbo youth and Biafran youth, created a security outfit that the so called leaders refused to do. We know those we created, we know that they are not the ones causing problems in Igbo land. Rather, the ones that the so called government brought in are the ones causing problems. Why can't you ask yourself a simple question, my brother? Sister, wake up from sleep. Why is that security network was created? Do you ever see any problem happening in Nibo land? Everything disappear. The Janja will run away. 
I will not tell you what happened in the dark because all the ginger we ran away apart from those doing legal businesses in the Biafra land. But those who carry a care for stealth, all of them disappear because they know that the indigenous people has come to stay. But as criminally minded as their so-called APC government, what they did was to start recruiting Boko Haram, Janjaweed, that they call repentant, into the military. At the process, they were sending them down to eastern region. This was what Mietiala told you when he was telling you that they are going to Krevinlate in every part of Igbo land. Let me tell you something. Those vigilante are part of a bagel. Those vigilante are part of the military. Those vigilante are part of those are tormenting Igbo land today. Everything was planned by Hopos of Demma and David Omai. They were put there, especially the other man was put there because of something. He did not win Imo State election from the last to the first. And this is why they have continued to massacre, to kill. The best thing for this government is to do the name for what the United Nations has told them to do. I was quite angry when the United Nations came to Nigeria and told the Janjawi to continue to recruit Boko Haram into the military. That is the nice thing to do. Which brought me to ask them some questions by asking them, did you ask these so-called northern leaders where they are sending those Boko Haram to? They are all sending them to Igbo land to cause mayhem. They are the ones causing the whole mayhem in Igbo land today. They are the terrorists. So why should you us be a consequences of what we did not commit? The best thing for them to do is to let them as the car. We have never done anything wrong yet. But if we start doing something wrong, believe me, two things will tango. What they are seeing today from the Janjaweez will be a small thing con compared to what we will do. This is not a threat. It's just a promise. Do the NFO because we only need it. Truth will set us free. And the truth should be talked about all the time. I think I've come to the end of this news. Please drop your comment in the comment section. Share this and members. Cheers.